Why hello you people from Earth and our space. It is I, Alexander from the universe. In this episode of Let's Java, we're going to talk about mathematical operators and how we can do mathematical operations on numbers and how we can go back in time to math class and just make magic things happen with numbers. The way we're going to do this is first of all, we're going to need some sort of number to perform those operations upon. Let's make an integer. We're going to call this stove because that totally makes sense. We're going to set it equal to 67. That ain't part of the Fibonacci sequence. That got to be 8 and 9. And from there on, we can be like, hey, let's print this number out, shall we? Like, like that. We use a print line and we say stove. When we run this now, it's going to say 89. The easiest thing you can do with those numbers is that you can either increment them or decrease them by one. And there's a really simple method in order to do this. We can tap in stove minus minus or stove plus plus. The first line here is going to remove one from stove, who's going to be 88. And the second line here, that's going to add one onto stove and it's going to be 90. So that <laughs> but it's not going to be that because it's going to go back to 89 because we already removed one from there. So if we were to run this, it's going to say 89. If we were to remove one of those, it's going to say 90. If we were to say minus minus instead, it's going to say 88. But a bam boom, it does say 88. Now this is all very well, but what if we wanted to say remove more numbers than the ones we're actually removing right now? Then what we can do is we can say we say the stove is equal to stove plus 89, for example. We're going to run this now, it's going to say 178, because stove is equal to whatever stove was plus 89. But there is an easier way to do this. That is, rather than typing stove twice, we can say stove plus equals stove, if that's what we want to do, or stove plus equals to 89. We we'll run this now, it's going to say 178 because we're doing the exact same thing by using this operator here, the plus and the equal sign, in order to add 89 onto stove. We can do the same thing with minus. It's going to say 0 because 89 minus 89 is in fact 0. If we wanted to, we could even use an asterisk in order to do multiplication. And perhaps we don't want to multiply 89 by 89. That would be a power of 2. Maybe we want to multiply this by 2 instead. We run this, it's going to say 178 again. So let's do 3. It's going to say 267. And there is also division. Stove divided by equals 3. Now there is a thing about division. Say we had, say stove had the value of 10. When we run this, it's going to say 3. But surely that's 3.3, right? 10 divided by 3 ain't 3. <laughs> that's impossible. But actually, since this is integer division, we're using an integer here. If we had a double here instead, double stow, which is equal to 10.0, for example, it's going to say 3. Point, a lot of 3s and not a 5. But the case as for the integer, is that when we divide this by 3, 10 by 3, it can divide the 10 up into 3 equal stacks, but it fails to divide the last single number available, the single 1. That's going to be put in its own little stack as the remainder of this operation. And the remainder of 10 divided by 3 we can retrieve by instead of typing a division sign here, can type in percentage sign, which is the remainder of whatever stove divided by 3 is. we to run this, it's going to say 1, because that is what was left over from dividing this into 1 stack of 3, 2 stacks of 3, 3 stacks of 3, and the remainder, which is 1. But what would mathematics be if we couldn't do cool stuff with it? For example, what if we wanted to do something crazy like, say, int, Horses, the amount of horses in the world is equal to 89 times 21 divided by 67 plus 4, for example. If we were to print the horses out, that's how many horses there are in the world, it's 
it's going to say 31 because that's what this little equation of ours should turn. But what if this is what we wanted to do? Just like in regular mathematics, you can add parentheses to wherever you feel like, and it's going to calculate these prior to doing, well, the rest of that. <laughs> so this is going to, in the order of operations, this is going to come first, just like in regular mathematics. This means that we can mess around with this quite a bit and be like, hey, we probably even want a minus two here. Or perhaps instead of a minus two, it's going to return 23. We want the two to be easily changeable. We can make another integer up here, call this pi, not pi, we're not doing 3.14. <laughs> this is an actual pi. There are 78 pi's in the world, and that is a horrible number. It's got, got to be two. And I say pi's here, because I definitely call that pi's. <laughs> There we go. It's going to say 23 again. Perhaps pies is 5. Now there are 5 pies in the world, and the amount of horses is 20. So depending on how many pies there are in the world, the number of horses changes drastically. The more pies there are, the less horses there are. That totally makes sense. There is, however, one more thing worth noticing about mathematical operators in Java. Say we have the pies here, and print the pies out. And we're printing pies out twice. And we, as a matter of fact, wish for the first pi to say 8 and the second to say 7. What we could do is add a pi's minus minus in here. But the smoother way, and perhaps <laughs> the one with worse readability, is by putting minus minus after the pi's in here. It's going to say 8, 7. So why does this say 8? Surely we're removing one from the pies. But actually, this is sent over to the print line prior to removing this because it goes after the pies. We could, if we wanted to, put this prior to the pies. And it's going to say 7, 7. It's going to remove one and then print that out. So if we wanted to, we could even put that down there. It's going to first do the pies and then minus minus pies. Going to say 8, 7. Or if we wanted to, use it this way. This is a really neat little way of changing things in the order we want them to be changed in. Why goodbye, people from Earth and outer space. Feel free to leave a comment stating something utterly hilarious or perhaps even a like. Until next time.